morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Hope you're having a great day in the Lord. Welcome to the Daily Devotional. This morning, I'd like to speak briefly about the family of God. The family of God is an interesting network, is an interesting connection that we have with each other and also with our God. The family of God can resemble our families that we have here. Most certainly, we've got some crazy Uncle Joes. And before you ask, yes, I did have a Uncle Joe in my family while I was growing up. And also, there's Aunt Mabel. Don't forget Aunt Mabel, who you never know what's going to come out of her mouth. And yes, I also had an Aunt Mabel growing up. The family of God. Well, yes, our family units that we have here on Earth can give us an understanding of it. But the family of God is so much wider and so much deeper. Romans chapter 12, verse 5. So in Christ, we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. Amen. In Christ, we are many different people. But the wonderful thing is that in God's love and with what Jesus has done for us through the empty cross and through the empty grave, God takes all of us different pieces and puts us together in a wonderful puzzle piece that we call the family of God. And the latter part of this verse I'd like to point out because it's quite profound. Each member belongs to all the other members. We need each other. I need you, and you need me. We need each other. When one of us is missing, there's a gap. There's a puzzle piece missing. And we feel it in a real uncomfortable way. So sisters and brothers... We are part of God's family with all the Uncle Joes and the Aunt Mabels and everybody else, including people named Derek. But isn't it good that God invites us into the family to be precious children of God? And it's God who does the inviting, not us. So let's get comfortable with the Uncle Joes and the Aunt Mabels and everybody else, including the Derricks. Let's pray. Lord our God, we thank you for our family that we have in you. We thank you, Lord, that even though we may not have it all together, you've got us together in the palm of your hand. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In your holy and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Peace and God's blessings, friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.